I now just have one thing that I wonder. How can someone's life be ruined so quickly? I can't believe this. Ugh. Oh, hi there. I am Alice. Alice, not from the Alice in Wonderland. That was sort of creepy, but Alice as in Alice Rose, the most famous cook in Littlest Pet Shop World. But the thing is, here, let me just uh, show you. That will be so much easier. So everything starts here. This is my restaurant called the Altoids. And here I am, the owner of Altoids. So yes, I started cooking ever since I was three. And I could cook from anything from delicious to really delicious. And so I had a perfectly running restaurant that everybody enjoyed. Starting from the delicious banana and fudge ice cream cake. That was my biggest hit, actually. And the swirled cupcake. And the berry fudge chocolate cake. Mint, strawberry, and vanilla icing cake. Dim sum shaped cupcakes. And I even made honey taste good. Well, better, I guess, because honey already tastes good. But I can make things that taste good already taste, like, better. So, yeah, you get the idea. Uh, oh, yeah, and then comes this girl. Callie Fabre. Hello, welcome to Altoids. Please sit over there. Ooh, a new customer. Hello. Uh, hi. Oh, would you like a booster seat? Excuse me? Or not. <laughs> Anyways, bring me the best here. Well, that's kind of hard because everything's the best around here. Just pick one, would you? Alright then, sure. Um, I'll start from the dim sum shaped cupcakes. Everybody likes those. I'll sit here. Here are your dim sum shaped cupcakes. Enjoy! <laughs> um, waiter? Oh, she probably loves it. <laughs> yes, ma'am. This is disgusting. I know. <gasps> Excuse me? What did you say? What part of disgusting do you not understand? I said this is disgusting. I mean, I don't get why your restaurant is so famous. Bring me the next best menu. I'm sorry, but everybody likes the food around here. Well, obviously, I don't like the food around here. Uh, so could you please bring me your next best menu so I can wipe this disgusting taste out of my mouth? Uh, as you wish. This is impossible. Did I put something wrong in this? She will regret saying that on the next menu. I wonder what happened. I mean, this is really good. Maybe you're just a pig, so you just eat anything. Hey! Try this. This? Yes. Try this. Alright. I'm just hoping this is your best. What did she say? What did she say? She didn't say anything. This is horrible. What? No, that's impossible. What's going on? I don't know. I had that. It was really good. Well, maybe you just like to eat anything. I'm sorry. I find that very offensive. Good. So much for a first date. W wait. Look, I expect you to do your best. Fine. I will offer you the next best one. 
that wasn't the best anyways. What's going on? No one ever complained about your food before. They always complain about my service, but never your food. That's fine. She wants to play a little game. And I'll give her what she wants. And it will be a win-win. You don't like vanilla. I get it. So here is a nice cherry and mint cupcake for you. It's especially swirled. Why do I have a feeling that this will be another failure? Try it. You know what? I don't even need to eat the whole thing about this. This is the worst cupcake I've ever had. This is even worse than your last one. What happened? I thought you were the best around here. I was just testing you. I'll bring in the next menu. Cake. No. Honey. No. All right then. My last recipe. Try it. Okay. How is it? Outstanding, right? You're right. It's outstandingly disgusting. All right, I've had enough. I gave you all the best recipes that I make in this restaurant, and all you say is disgusting, horrible, disgusting, tasteless, disgusting. That's not a way to treat food. Oh, don't get me started about treating food the right way. Because you are the problem. What the heck are you talking about? Here, let me put it this way for you then, because you obviously don't get the idea when other restaurants seem to get it. When a customer says they don't like the food in the first place, you don't go off and get the best food that you think. No matter what the customer says, you're supposed to find out their like. You're supposed to ask at least once. Oh, what kind of food do you like then? What would you like? You don't go off and pick the best food that you think is the best. Because you know what? Customers' needs are first. You just right now think that you're so great and that you can make anything that you're starting to lack customer service. I mean, all the other restaurants I've been to, even though they're not the top and they don't taste the best, they have what they need to have as a basic. What do you have? Yes, you have good food. I admit that. But you know what? The reason why I said it was disgusting was because of your attitude. I mean, how do you expect to feed people delicious food when your personality is disgusting? You think anything that you can make is just great, so you just expect people to come by and eat it and just love it. Well, that's not reality. Not anymore. I was just so fed up with you bragging on your commercials and everything that your food's the best. You don't care about other people's foods. You don't care about other people's likes or needs. As long as you have the fame and you can make anything and you can please people just by you just being disgusting, you know what? I'm done. So take your food. This restaurant sucks. Yeah, that's right. One, one time I was allergic to peanut butter, but they gave me peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. So remember that time I had that like allergy reaction? It was really good though. Yeah, I remember that time. Oh my gosh. Wait. What? Look, I am really sorry. I didn't know about that at all. I mean, all my life, all I knew was cooking. So I thought everybody was supposed to like my cooking. Yes, your cooking is great. But what you need to fix is, I know, I know, you made me realize today, I am really sorry, please let me, please let me cook for you just one last time.
please. Fine, one last time. <sighs> Thanks so much. Come on, let's go. Hello, ma'am. What would you like? What do you feel like eating today? Just tell me anything you want. I'll make you feel at home. All right, then. Um, I'm sort of thinking some donuts. Um, that cake. That cake with the vanilla icing. I actually like vanilla icing. Well, I have just the perfect meal for you. Uh, uh, okay, your food has arrived. Pada! Oh my gosh, you prepared all of this? Wow! Well, you made me realize a really important lesson, so this is the least I can do. Wow. This is amazing. Cake, chocolate, ice cream, sprinkles, and whipped cream, and donut. What's this? This? It's a new recipe I made just for you. Thanks a lot. I will enjoy this food. I personally can't be any happier. So in the end, my store got a lot more popular and everybody really, like, everybody loves my food now. Well, except for one that comes in every week or so. Um, I'm sorry, but that was sort of weird. Why did you even put that in my food? Are you serious? No. Come on, let's go back in the store. I actually gained another worker, and she's, like, really good. She is, like, the best cook I've ever seen. Seriously, like, everybody loves her food.